Hello, welcome to a DCUR video with me, Neutron. We're going to be doing um, some steelworks uh, stuff. Basically, it's tier 4. Um, imagine that you've come through the leveling content, uh, so you've done alerts and everything else. Excuse me. So you've done your tier 1 and your tier 2 stuff, so you, you've got either the... Uh, Just make sure that I'm talking, chatting about the right stuff. Um, no, general. Yeah, there you go. So you brought either Frozen Fury, Metallos Moor, and uh, the Ages of Azeroth. That's the tier one suits from the uh, Hall of Doom. And or you've brought the um, which the hero version, uh, Speed for Spectrum, Steel Suit Mark One, or Face Faith. And then you went ahead and brought the tier 2 suits because it doesn't take much to build up the marks anymore. Uh, so you've got House of El War suit, Let's Call Salvation, uh, Dark Spectre Bat suit, Jerker's Punch Line, Hero Strength, or, uh, or the Vengeance of Hecate. That's the tier 2. That will pretty much get you to 53 uh, CR. At which point you can do the Steelwork. Uh, well, you, know, you can't do the Steelwork stuff, but you can do the. Central City stuff. Now, you got a choice there. Uh, you can build up the marks through doing Foss. Uh, well, actually, the only thing that you can build up the marks from is Fortress of Solitude. So you'd need to do Foss 1, 2, and 3. Um, use those marks, buy synthetic mods, mod your gear, and you'd be able to progress up. So there's that. Now, what you do once you've completed FOSS is that you're faced with a bit of a brick wall because um, once you've reached combat rating 70 you got a choice you can go the easy route or you can go the very hard route uh, the very hard route is that you've got to repeat Gates, Prime, FOSS 1, 2, 3, Batcave 1, 2, 3 and sometimes even Kandak now, that's actually a good thing and is a bad thing. One is a good thing because by the end, by the time that you've completed out your tier 4 set of gear, uh, you will be, um, you'll know your role back to front. So that's not a problem. The bad thing is it takes so long because uh, it, it's still 50,000 marks of triumph at the minute. At the minute, that, that mark may come down in a future update, but at the minute, it's a very long grind to get from tier 3 to 4 to complete it. The benefit um, to this system is, like I said, you can complete uh, knowledge of your roles, so you get to know tanking, healing, controlling, and DPSing it as well, back to front, which is great. There's that, or you can do this. Doesn't seem like much, but a lot of people overlook the Steelworks and Arkham content. Steelworks, Arkham, Strikers, and Ace content because you're able to basically get tier 4 gear from it. Uh, you got the bounties, uh, the poster over there, that uh, that gives you the um, Strikers Island poster in um, Metropolis. And from uh, Arkham Island, you get the Ace Chemicals bounty. It's basically the same thing. Um, only for for us, we get the uh, Strikers Critical Defender and the Escaped Experiments, which basically the bosses from Ace Chemicals. Whereas the heroes get uh, Oolong robots and uh, Morobots, essentially. But it's it's basically the same thing. And at the end of it, you end up with uh, a piece of Tier Four gear. Essentially, um, all you need is pretty much half a suit, mod it with level four, uh, four pieces, and you're ready to go. Um, completing out each of the bounties enables you to um, uh, you get 125 marks of triumph. You need 350 for a level three mod, so it takes you a couple of days max, which is great. Um, I think it's 350 anyway, but 300-ish, right, anyway, um, 
so that enables you to progress forward into the tiers. Once you get to tier 5, you're able then to do the um, iconic anomalies daily, which drop a ton of marks and gear, which can get you into the tier 5 content proper. Once you get there, you're away and you've got nothing stopping you. But the big hurdle is tier 4. Now, um, if you want to progress that that far uh, and you're looking at doing the bounties, you can do the bounty without starting off the quest, which is why I've got this Morobot here. But um, what that enables you to do is shout out in LFG uh, to form a group uh, for the for the strikers and ace and uh, steelworks and Arkham bounties. The only downside to that is well there's one downside there's one good side again the downside is on the hero side it took me almost three weeks to get a group together uh, for one strikers um, poster and on the uh, on the villains it takes about a good couple of hours that's that's the that's the downside for the heroes it takes so damn long to get this stuff running and on the villains, it, it, it goes much, much quicker, which is great. If you don't want to do that, then you can go the quest route. It takes a little bit longer, but by the time that you've done it, uh, you're probably going to walk out with some decent gear at the end of it. You just need to wait five days. I know. Five days, do the in, uh, inner quest inside Steelworks, or uh, you get Steelworks, Arkham, Strikers, and Ace. You have to do them in each four of those zones. Once you do that, you're free and clear. But it is quite tricky. Um, if you're fresh to the tier. Um, it's the time has come to strike directly at Steel and acquire a sample of his technology. Initiate the assault. That completes that quest. Hostile takeover for Steelworks. And gives you the quest to weaken uh, breaking steel. Um, so, yeah. As you can tell, the gear that you get from the end of this quest is level 73, which is exactly the same uh, gear as you get from the end of the uh, st Steelworks bounty. The, the thing is, you need to do this for the style as well. Now, let's have a look. Feats, styles, styles. Yeah, I've got a lot. Ah, there we go. A lot of styles ready to go. Steelworker and escaped inmate. They carried on uh, this sort of thing into the hero side as well. Heroes get the steelworker and escaped inmate from the posters. So, uh, so you get the escaped inmate from Arkham and steelworker from uh, the Oolong robot. Um, whereas we get the oh god, what is it? Um, biohazard and Department of Corrections. Biohazard from the Ace Chemicals and Department of Corrections from the um, Strikers Bounty. So you kind of need to do that uh, if you want the styles for for doing all of these things, which is uh, which is a good thing to do anyway. That's the range. I don't want the range. I'm going to be up close and personal with these. So I need to be doing it at that. Better. Please enjoy today's mission. Stealing from steel. Um, Time for some brilliant treachery. Take this holographic image modulator and use it on a knocked out mechanic. This will scan his appearance and apply it to you. That should let you sabotage a steelworks repair terminal. The next time a steelworks robot comes near it, it will be disabled, allowing you to simply remove one of the memory cores I require. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jens. Ah, right. So on we go. Um, this mission isn't too hard. It, it can be quite tricky. But given Good. I'm tier six, now, it's not hard at all. Those repair stations. Robots in the area will occasionally walk up to them for checkups, so be sure you don't get spotted. You must sabotage the station 
just before the robot interfaces with it. Once it malfunctions, you can grab the undamaged memory core without a fight. Down here, they're gonna get close and I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That should be enough memory cores for my research. Now, I want you to install them into one of my oolong robots. Don't worry, it's in the name of science. So we go over to the back of the staging area. Uh, incidentally, staging area, good place to come to. Uh, it's just where steel is, so let's zoom out. Uh, there. And if you want to pick up the poster, not that I'm going to, but if you want to pick up the poster, um, let's have a look. It's right there. A lot of people don't, don't come to these, but I, I'll probably try and pull a group together for the steelworks and ace bounties at some point but not yet that's something that I'm probably going to stream at some point uh. well that was interesting <laughs> I'll have to make some additional changes to the memory interface to compensate for the well whatever I'm sure you don't care not really. No, slim more. Looks nice. And that gives you Sadako Splash. Oh, Triumph. No, I can delete those focus on the pause, don't need them. Uh, And let's have a look at the quest. We can just get the fundamentals of Arkham. There we go. Walk back to my new base there. Yeah. Once you've got these active, just get into the habit of doing these every day. Uh, you can forego the bounties if you want and wait until later with with a legal or whatever. But um, I find it easier just to do it this way. Gotham Metropolis. There we go. Arkham Asylum. God, those teleporters are a godsend. Should have been in the game when the bases were released. And shouldn't be placed on amenities. Uh, and we should have slots in every base for every single amenity not not be restricted to certain ones <sighs> oh, it feels so good to be doing this content finally uh, that's where you Don't go forget to wear your jacket thank you scarecrow that's where you go in to fight the um, Arkham Island ah now there is a feat in here which is uh, particularly annoying which is one I definitely will be streaming. Now, if we go down to the look, home turf, yeah, I've got a lot of things missing. Corner of Gotham and Vine. You have to wrap up each of the heroes in quick grow vines inside the Arkham Island instance, or Arkham Asylum instance. That's Batman, Robin, the Nightwing, Huntress, Black Canary, and Batwoman. Now, you'd think that there would be an issue with that. When I get that quest, I will record and stream, because that's what I'm going to go on to in a little bit. Um, speak for the Your efforts in this area risk drawing unwanted attention from the so-called heroes in Gotham City. 
I shall monitor their activity. Right, Chappy. The following is your mission for today. Law enforcement troops from Gotham are making their way across the bridge. Probably in response to a distress call we failed to block. You'll have to deal with the police convoy before they get here. I was really hoping it'd be one to go into one of the holo holographic thingy watches. Uh, there are two quests in Arkham which I will go through um, that you get given them randomly, which is the problem. Um, but there is um, a feat and a trophy, I believe. Uh, well, not, not so much a feat, but a trophy uh, for. Um, Is that a collection I can do? No, that's a blue. Okay. I'll get to doing the DLC uh, briefings and whatnot, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, um, the, ah, that's it, the holography. No. This is also why people don't tend to do this stuff anymore. It's very tedious. Hopefully, this side of the road. Yes, it is. Good. Screw that. I'm going to pick this one up. I'm not throwing another one. There you go. This is the police! I'm on it. Turn to the Morobot, and that's that quest done. Uh, they're, they're relatively short and compact, and it's with me nattering away for the first five or six minutes. She's still looking at about a good ten minutes to get these done, maybe a bit longer if you're level four or, or tier four ish. Um, if you're a healer, it's slightly easier. If you're a tank, it's slightly easier. If you're a controller or a DPS, yeah. It gets a bit tedious. We'll have to keep a close watch on the bridge. Word of our deeds here cannot be allowed to leak out. We don't want Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, or Scarecrow catching wind of what we're up to. And if we do that, there you go. You get some base items from doing this as well, which is always good. It's good to see people are still doing it. 
just as Lara Croft, but that's the thing. See, you get the quest to turn uh, uh, turn into these um, holographic disguises. Now, that's the other thing I was going to go about to go through with the um, Steelworks and Arkham stuff. Um, you can reset it, whereas with Central City content, which is why I've skipped over that, you can't. You have to do that per day. But there's absolutely no reason to do the Central City stuff or to do anything related to Central City other than to go in, get the trinket, get the gear, and leave. Then all you need to do is just, uh, what well, you maybe need to run the quests in there once or twice. Uh, just to do them all at least once. Uh, do the big the speed force rupture, the small speed force rupture, and you're done. Uh, then you just need to run the uh, the duo to get the speed feet, and that's it. There's nothing to Central City at all. Uh, but this one is the is the first big DLC that you'll come to after. Um, well, actually, it's the first big DLC that you'll come into. The the it's the way to get to tier four which gives you DLC 3. So you need DLC 4, in a way, to get to DLC 3, which is why I've done this. Um, but essentially what you need to do then is just come back here daily. Uh, that, that's also where you can get the uh, uh, the bounty from. Uh, this is the staging area, uh, the ray point in Arkham, uh, on the island, so just come back here and you're able to get straight there. That will lead you over to Ace Chemicals, just by that blimp there and uh, you're then able to start that quest up and get it running. Um, I'm going to record and stream a couple of things. Um, one, when I get access to uh, one of them. Um, well, actually two of them. I need uh, a mission where I get the quick roam vines, which could take me months. No word of a lie, it could take me months. Or it could be tomorrow. And two, I need the mission where I get to turn into each of these holograms because each of these enables you to do a small little thing. Um, when you get the quest to turn into any one of these, use them a lot because you've got a feat in here. Uh, home surf. Ah, there you go. Factory Direct uh, to uh, complete all of the exterior missions. Uh, but completely make the map mission on Arkham ten times, so we've got, we've got to go into Arkham ten times anyway. And the same thing for Breaking Steel. Uh, you've got to do that ten times. Stop. Ah, there you go. Stop hitting yourself. Use the disguise and printers to imprint a disguise uh, from uh, various uh, denizens of Arkham. Island. Then defeat them. So, yeah, you need to turn into each one of those. How you do that, you get a quest that will take you to the front of Arkham Island uh, to take out um, uh, some cloaked scout or whatever. But to do that, you've also uh, it gives you a quest to, to muck about with each of the three factions there. Now, th that and only that quest enables you to get access to all three of these. The other one uh, that you do for uh, Mr. Freeze uh, will give you access to... Well, you've got to go over there, put on a freeze suit, then go over there and take out one of the um, uh, Scarecrow dudes. So, yeah, th there's a couple of ways around what you've got to do. Uh, the next thing that I'll be doing with the game is a, is a couple of different things, but essentially that is how you get to tier 4. In a few days time, because I'm going to be uploading this today, in a few days time I'll get back to you and do the interior stuff in Steel and uh, Arkham Island and uh, show you what happens on the inside. Um, it's not that much, <coughs> excuse me. It's not that much of an issue anymore, um, because I'm basically running tier six gear, not just short of anyway. It's Amazon Hoplite and uh, Vestments and Rage, so this content isn't really challenging anymore. The way that I did it, I used the bounty posters. 
um, used, uh, got help from some of my league mates and uh, did, did the bounty post route. If you're having trouble doing that or you're not, your league is so big that you're not getting the help that you need, you've always got the solo stuff that you can do, but it does take quite a bit longer. But if you're on the hero side and trying to get that posters or any of the uh, two posters that you need, do this. Uh, do the solo content because while, I, while I've been trying legless, mind you, to get the heroes uh, to get the posters done, it is such a just such a horrible grind trying to get those set up and running. So yeah, cool. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you uh, in a few days' time when I've got the quest active. So I'll see you in a bit.